Let me set the stage for you. You. Or you and your niggas or you and your girl of five years. You know, or you and your niggas for like 15 years. You guys are in Cancun or in Mexico enjoying the beautiful ocean water. And it's like a private beach and an Airbnb that you work so hard to pay for. And you got your grail inside the room, inside the inside the Airbnb. It might be a TDF jacket, TFD jacket, or a Riot Riot jacket, or whatever you'd like. You have that in there. All of a sudden, boom, boom. You get a tap on your shoulder. It's a pretty metal. It's a, it's a AK-47, nigga. You look up, you're like, oh, oh. your heart's racing. Then he's like, let's make it easy, cabron. It's a cartel member. You got to suck my, my boy's dick and my dick in front of all your friends. Huh? Let's do that. Or I take the jacket. Will you do that? And you have to get the passion ahead. You have to hold his balls while looking up at him. And looking, and keep going. Like, really deep. You got to put some passion into that shit because he's, he's a fuck. What is going on? My lovely, sexy, chiseled, thick, fresh, voluptuous, beautiful, delicious niggas. Now today on this video, we are going to be uh, responding to um, your comments. And you know, I'm going to be responding to your comments on the last video because everyone said something that I didn't think. I didn't think they'd side with me. I thought everyone was going to be like, well, my black brand is not. I thought niggas was going to start fighting, but a lot of niggas were on my side. And it made me think about doing another video because I didn't get into the topics I want to. While I was creating the shitty thumbnail that you guys saw, I realized that I didn't talk about the other black creators and focused on like little ones. I'd even mention uh, Virgil, and that's crazy that I didn't mention Virgil the whole entire video, nigga. You see that the upload schedule is getting better, nigga. The demons have not been hitting up my crib. I got Homeland Security now. They're not giving me and fooling me for getting back shots, nigga. Nice try. I know what you're thinking. Josan, what the fuck is on your head, and why are you in a different room? But I digress. Um, I wonder too why I have this on my head. I'm having a bad hair day, I'm not gonna lie. But we will not let that detract us from sending out the message. And I'm glad that a lot of niggas were commenting a lot of positive things and saying that they agree. And you know, some niggas would be like, I'm so glad I found your account. How are you not up? It's because I'm lazy. Um, also, it, those comments, those comments were instantly subscribed, best subscription that I subscribed all year. Those type of comments, it gives me this tingling feeling in my, in my butt crack. It's me a little, a little horny too, if you will. I, I'm kidding, but it feels good. I enjoy that shit, man. It's, it's nice, it's a nice feeling. It gives me a feedback to keep going, keep striving. When the demons are holding me down, pinning me down, grabbing me by my locks. One of them has a, a bit of locks in their teeth to show that they're a little kinky with the two, giving me passionate back shots. I'm taking them, but at the end of the day, I do it for you niggas. So let's read the first comment from the video. It says, uh, from Malik Can't Dress 7508. Malik, never say that about yourself. There's always room for improvement, especially if you have a nice one to ask. Uh, he said, if Virgil was alive, black fashion would still be up the way it used to be. He used to put everybody on for real, but Martina. Are you saying Martin Rose? Uh, Malik can dress. Oh, Jesus. Well, I personally think that uh, Virgil started giving uh, a lot of grants, money, and uh, putting everyone else on, uh, which is a good thing. I'm glad that he was helping the community, but I also feel like there were some niggas that took advantage of that that didn't have real much talent. I'm not gonna lie, like, some niggas was ass, and, like, they got the, the Virgil cosign, and they ran with it, like, mad crazy, so they can go and post that, like, we're sad to hear that uh, Virgil died. And first of all, when they said, we're sad to hear, nigga, it's just you, nigga. You're just the only uh, nigga for the company. I don't know why you're making it seem like you have a whole entire franchise behind you, a corporation. No, it's just you, nigga. But it's like, we're sad to hear that Virgil's passing. Like, you taught me the way, da 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 da, da. And it's just like, I feel bad because like a lot of people took that uh, Virgil cosign and flew, like 
flew with it like incredibly so crazy and i think it just went to shit like complete shit after that like everyone just thought that they could become the next virgil and like Virgil was a gateway to a lot of niggas thinking they can really like finesse fashion because what did Virgil say? Design is uh, the biggest scam, some shit like that. I'll leave it right here. That was an amazing comment, uh, great point. Uh, Malik can dress 7508. Now, um, Wiener Beater 191. Interesting, pause. <laughs> Pause. I'm starting to I'm starting to see the audience here. It's getting a little strange. Um, Sub the YouTube blessed me by putting you in my recommend. Love the takes. Love the editing. Keep up with the funny, informative videos. I didn't think they were very much informative, but thank you, Wiener Beater One Nine One. I uh, um, I really appreciate that. Thank you for joining the the cult. This is a cult, and we are getting deep into it. Marcelo says Marcelo is. It's, it's it's my it's my friend. He uh, said yes. I want Lil Durk and Full Yoji. I can't say that I wouldn't want to see it. I think it would it would definitely not be an eyesore. I don't think it would be an eyesore. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you didn't know that in the earlier video, like does anyone really want to see Virgil? I mean, Lil Durk in uh in one of the, in Full Yoji, and um, he said you does. So uh, kudos to you, nigga. Me personally, see, I want to see another grown man in a fabric is a little gay. But, t-shirt on, we are with that community. I'm wearing a bonnet. After all, Odnor8592 said, you're right. And someone said, SkyRozX said, that pic of Cardi in the thumbnail is crazy. Yes, it is crazy, nigga. <laughs> I don't know who photoshopped that image, but it's gonna be a, a, a reoccurring thing. Cause it's just like, yo, that photo's crazy. I've been feeling this way, especially with streetwear, says Zelly Ryu 7989. Well, I'm glad that you agree that that was, uh, that was, uh, the way that fashion took its, like, downfall from, like, 2016. It started going downhill from there. I thought I was the only one, and I thought this was gonna be a very controversial video, but I'm glad that a lot of niggas are taking my side. I'm not gonna lie, though. I would like to see, like, if someone was defending it, but there's not much to defend for, nigga. I'm low-key, uh, speaking facts. Exemblosser Beats, uh, Exemblosser Beats, Blosser Beats said, he dropped a fat paragraph with three likes too, nigga. Back then, I feel like it was because we weren't trying as hard to have fun. Like, it was genuine. Like, there was still club content back then, but it was different now. Especially with TikTok. It sped up trend cycles fast as hell. It's just about the climate, really. Especially with the fact that Virgil is gone. He called him V. Like, that was his own nigga. He said, especially the fact that V is gone and the whole ASAP kind of dwindled. No bullshit. Luca, bloody ian and all got brands cashing out more than they influence quote unquote influence so everybody's just copying cardi for some weird reason to trend and then a nigga in the comments said this nigga <laughs> he said this period nigga oh shit. well that that statement right there was really beautiful and i think i'm gonna use it as like the part of the thumbnail because that really cemented uh that gave an explanation because i was trying to word that i didn't know how to say what you said in that whole entire span of my last video that was basically the whole entire point i was trying to make and the fact that niggas did that you just said that and someone said this i'm glad we're all on the same page nigga but let's keep going let's make sure that there's no secret nigga disagreeing nigga Thank you for that comment, 75 Bossarim. Uh, is that how I say it? Let me reset. it. Exem Bossar Beats. Amazing comment. Lo Uzi Vert. 6398 said this, nigga. Okay. Um, Sober Sheldon, three days ago, said, What is black fashion? Black fashion is when black niggas, niggas of color, of pigment, make clothes. Black fashion, black niggas making clothes. That is black fashion. Thank you. Takashiro the Solist. Oh, we got a fashion nigga here. I remember that brand. It's a, it's a little crazy. Um, he says, you remind me of Maserati XXX a lot. 
Can someone show me who Maserati XXX is? I don't know who that nigga is, but I hope it's it's good. I hope it's a it's a nice nigga and he's not fried. Cause I seem a little fried sometimes when I'm talking. I hope I'm not Maserati XXX though, nigga. Cause the replies make it seem like I'm a little nervous for finding out who this nigga is. Ronnie said, "Hey yo, yo ah, tweaking cuh," and then USD Kane said, "I'm God, bruh." The fuck bro talking about? Alright, good looks. For my young two bulls, uh, uh, supporting me, uh, defending me from this monstrous, like, low blow. So, unfortunately, guys, we have one more final comment, and it is this organic. Someone said, bro, cut your nails. They did the. Okay, did that. Did that with no possibility. And then he said, you worried about the wrong thing. Well, this is organic. I appreciate your comment. I do try to get my nails uh, done. Uh, to, uh, I, I don't, you know, honestly, nigga, I was trying to, I was trying to think of something nice. He said it right here perfectly. USD Kane, shut your dumb ass up, nigga. You know, I, uh, I strive for greatness, and sometimes when you're stressed and you're going through a lot, nigga, sometimes the nails don't matter in the moment, nigga. The grind does, and that's all that matters. And when you think about it, nigga, I'm gonna leave it off on this note. Thank you guys for dropping those comments. I will make a part two video. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, niggas, for more content. Of course, we'll see you on the next one. How do you guys feel about this? What content would you guys like for me to do? The giveaway details, I have to prolong it just a bit to make sure my niggas ready to do the collab giveaway with me. Um, I would like to see what topics you guys would want me to talk about because you guys have beautiful uh, takes and beautiful replies and responses and I love that so much except for the nigga that told me that my nails need to be cut with no bullshit. You got a fair point. My nails are looking fucked right now. It looks like the witch's nails, but I digress, nigga. Get off my penis. That's all. I would like my penis out of your mouth. Please get off my penis. Um, with that being said, guys, comment, subscribe, guys, for more content, of course, I will leave it on a high note, nigga, and you will see a part three series video for this video when I walk out that door like a fucking badass, and we'll see who needs to, uh, yeah, I'm the vet myself, the vet myself. <laughs>